Welcome guys to another session on dynamic programming DPV 6.12. Today the topic is convex polygon and triangulation. And some of the graphics designers might come across this problem of triangulating a design uh, of polygons. Uh, and so it's a very interesting problem. Um, and uh, let's look at the overview of the problem. So in this problem, we are given a polygon of n vertices uh, in a plane, and they are given x, y coordinates. A triangulation uh, for us would be to find uh, a collection of n minus 3 diagonals in this polygon such that no two diagonals intersect. And we have to find the minimum cost of triangulation, which is the sum of lengths of diagonals that do not cross, and we have to find the minimum, minimum of that sum. So now, uh, with that, let's look at what this solution would look like and what does it really mean to triangulate this. So in this case we have a hexagon and if we take um, nodes numbered going clockwise so that uh, then we number them 0 through 5 then you can see that if you go across this and if you just take let's say 0 through 4 being a polygon and if you want to uh, compute the uh, triangulation, which is the sum of diagonals, then uh, you would have to find the diagonals that don't intersect in this case, you know, 0 to 2 and uh, 2 to 4 uh, would be two such diagonals that don't intersect. So you have to find a set of diagonals in this problem that do not intersect. And then there may be many such sets which do not intersect and there would be diagonals. So you have to find the minimum uh, of such uh, sets and uh, or some of the minimum set and and that's a pretty tricky problem as you don't know how to break the problem down but here's the catch and once you understand this catch the problem becomes very simple so let's say instead of solving the whole problem as 0 to 5 uh, think of it as a sub problem and the sub-problem would be to make a smaller polygon inside this big large polygon. So let's say we make a small polygon which is 0 through 4 and, that, and try to solve this problem for 0 through 4. So just like our previous problems, chain matrix multiply or uh, you know rod cutting problem, um, what we have to do is that given the sub-problem 0 to 4, we have to find just one point in the middle. And with that point, we can break the problem into two smaller problems. So if you take this point, let's say i is 0 and j is 4, and then pick up this point k in the middle. So now you have two polygons, one on this left side, uh, see this poly 1, and then one on this right side, which is this poly 2, uh, this one. And then you have two extra diagonals that pop up. This Final, this side is not a diagonal because if you consider 0 through 4, this is actually an edge. So this is not a diagonal. Okay, diagonals are necessarily ones that we have where the vertices are not adjacent to each other. Uh, and so in this case, these would be the two diagonals. Um, if you basically look at this whole polygon, once you've taken these two out, the remaining diagonals are these two diagonals. And so the solution is when you try to compute a i j in this case 0 through 4 what you do is that first of all you have to iterate over all the nodes in the middle so this k has to be any node between i and j and once you move this k you compute um, the sub problems and this two diagonals added together which is this equation here which is the recursion and basically you compute the minimum over all possible values and you move the scale from let's say if you have 0 through 4 you move it from 1 2 and 3 and you find the minimum of all those and that's your answer okay and so um, with that the other thing I want to mention is that remember that in this case we didn't consider this to be a diagonal because these two are adjacent so um, because this would be the surface of the polygon Right? This would be one of the edges of the polygon in 0 through 4 case. Um, if the polygon of 0 through 5, then yes, 0 and 4 would not be adjacent. And uh, therefore, uh, you would not have an issue. 
and this would become a diagonal. But for 0 through 4, you know that um, this would be adjacent vertices and it would be a problem, right? So, um, and, and in this case, if uh, j minus i is greater than or equal to 2, so in the last case, you know, you would have uh, 4 and 0. And uh, in this case, if you do j minus i, um, then you would get, obviously get greater than or equal to 2. So that's, this would work. Um, but, um, but I guess um, the question is, you know, the, the diagonals that are, um, I guess this equation may not work at the edge where you go from, um, let's say, 0 through 4, and when you compute this, uh, these two would not. Uh, so one of the corrections would be to ignore the edge nodes, edge cases, which is this equality sign should not be there. Um, and um, once you remove the equality sign into this uh, K, then when you go from 0 through 4, then the diagonals will never be computed. You would never end up with a um, 0, 4 diagonal, right? Because you will only compute from this, this, and this, the points in the middle. And you would ne never end up with a surface. So um, that's kind of the summary. And you might be asking that, you know, uh, why can we sum these two? So if we consider 0 through 4, how is it that we are able to sum these and what if these two intersect? But remember that this is, we are going clockwise, right? So you're going from zero, one, two, three, four. And so if you take any point in the middle and if you draw a line from zero to two and then from two to any point to a subsequent point like uh, two to three or two to four, um, this would never intersect with um, a line that is going to the left of two, or sorry, to the right of two. Think of it as if you look at this point two, there's a line that's going this way, and then all these other lines are going to vertices that are to the left of this point, obviously because this is a, a clockwise polygon. So because they are emanating from this point two, this line and this line cannot intersect, okay? Just uh, be clear about that. And so, because of that, we can use these two diagonals which have been created by slicing to this point K um, in this fashion. Because we have done it in this fashion, it produces these two diagonals and, and plus it divides our original polygon into two other polygons and it creates these two diagonals. And so you can keep repeating this process and thereby you can create the solution. The other thing to keep in mind is this equation here that Anything on the surface cannot be considered a diagonal. If this was the polygon, if 0 through 4 was your polygon in question, then 4, 0 is not a diagonal. Moreover, anything that connects, um, you have to be at least two vertices, you know, at least one vertex, more than one vertex away. So 0, 1 cannot be, but 0, 2 can be a diagonal that you can sum. So if you follow this formula, then we can get to... Um, um, this matrix formulation and so let's write this down as you know f you go from i and j and if you go from j to i in this case or i to j it doesn't really matter the thing to keep in mind is that if you go across a diagonal because it's uh, 0 to 0 or 1 to 1 or 2 to 2 there will always be 0 because you cannot triangulate that in fact I would say as much as if you go from 0 to 1 if you look at that, if you go from zero to one, there is no triangulation here. It's only, it's only a line. This is not a polygon. So this next uh, diagonal is also zero. When you get up to the next diagonal up, um, this is a triangle, right? So if you go up zero to uh, two, then this is actually a triangle. And a triangle doesn't have any diagonals either, right? A triangle will not have any diagonals. So this is also zero. So you can go ahead and fill these next diagonal up with zeros. Now, which brings us to the next diagonal, which is zero to three. Now, zero to three has some options. If you come here, zero to three, you can put one and you can put two. There's two options. 
So you can compute with taking k equals one here and then k equals two. And then that'll give you, you know, everything else here is zero, but you'll end up with this diagonal one, three. And in this other equation, you end up with diagonal zero, two. So you take the minimum of these two and you put it here. And likewise, you compute D one, four, same way, because one to four, you'd have options of two and three. And so likewise, you would end up with some equation like this and you'd fill this point. And then using all these pre-computed values, you compute this final value from zero to four and zero to four would essentially in that in that problem it's not exactly this is a hexagon but in this case this is a pentagon and so once you've computed zero to four that would be your that would be your answer right and you can read off the answer right here and so then finally the question is what is the order of this problem and the order of this problem is n cubed just as before just like all the other problems we have done before um, the um, because this is the upper half of the triangle, this is n squared. And for each computation, you have to vary the k here. Because you have to vary this k, that's another n. So you get the order n cubed. So that's it, guys. This is the um, polygon problem uh, and triangulation. And hopefully you understood how the solution works. And if you have any comments or questions, leave me um, below. But uh, if you liked it and if it helped you, um, understand the dynamic programming problem uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll bring you uh, continue to bring you more dynamic programming problems on this channel and thanks for watching until next time bye bye